Hi, I'm Stu and I'm the lead recovery worker here at DAPL. And I thought I'd make a quick video today on what to expect on joining a smart meeting at DAPL for the first time. So to start with, you would have received an email from me with the Zoom smart link on it. Um, so at the time of the meeting, all you do is click on that link and it will take you into Zoom and it will take you towards the smart meeting. If you've not used Zoom before and you're a bit unsure of how to join or how to use Zoom, that's fine. If you just email me, I'm quite happy. I can set up a private one-to-one -one kind of Zoom meeting between just me and you uh, and we can practice before you actually come along to the actual smart meeting. So you've clicked on the link um, and that will take you to Zoom and it will take you into what we call the waiting room or what Zoom calls the waiting room. Um, and it will just come up on the screen. It will say um, the host will let you in the meeting in a minute. I'll see that on my end. I'll let you into the meeting and I'll click you in. And what happens is you'll, you'll come onto the, the main screen and there you'll see myself and maybe a few other people um, in the meeting. If you're a bit unsure on your first time and not sure if you want to show your video on screen, that's fine. You can turn your video off and just join by voice alone. That's absolutely fine. That's no problem with that. So all the Zoom meetings run the same kind of way. We'll, we'll all come together and meet on Zoom. Uh, and then the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll run over you know, I'll welcome everyone in and then I'll run over the, the smart guidelines because we've got a few guidelines to keep the, the meeting safe for all of us. Um, I'll just go over those. So every smart meeting is confidential. Basically, what's said in the meeting stays in the meeting. We all agree to that. Um, we try and keep the language clean if we possibly can. We all, um, you know, obviously the odd word slips out, but, you know, we do our best to keep the language as clean as possible. And also, we definitely don't use any isms, so there's no sexism or racism. Um, we all agree to that. Um, we also agree to try as best as we can not to use the name of our substance in the meeting, which might sound a bit odd, but there's a reason behind it. Um, imagine you were trying to give up chocolate biscuits and you came to the meeting and I spent ages talking about all the Kit Kats I ate last night. Well, you might then think, I really fancy a Kit Kat about right now. Um, and the last thing we want is for anyone to come to the meeting and be triggered into wanting to go and use their substance. So we, for that reason, we don't use the name of our substance. Um, we also don't use the word or the words alcoholic or addict in our meetings. Um, and that's because we don't define ourselves by our addictive behaviour. We're so much more than that. We're, we're parents and brothers and sisters and workers and all kinds of things. Um, and our addictive behaviour is just one part of us. And we're here trying to change it anyway. So we don't use that word because we don't define ourselves by our addictive behaviour. In SMART, we very much focus on the, on the present, what's going on now and the future, what we want to happen. So we don't really do war stories about bad things that have happened in the past. It's very much focused in the here and now. Um, we do ask as well, we all kind of agree that we don't turn up under the influence of anything as, as well. Um, and we all, we all try not to smoke as well. Um, but if you want a cup of tea or anything, that's absolutely fine. Um, you know, I've normally always got a cup of tea by my side uh, during a smart meeting. So I'll run through the rules. Um, uh, then I'll, uh, I'll read the opening statement, which is basically just a short statement that basically just says what I've just said all over again. Um, and then we do check-ins. We go into a check-in. And all a check-in is, is how's your week been? And we all go around and just say, how's your week? Um, you can you can say what you like. You can say as much as, as you like or as little as you like. Um, if it's your first meeting and you're still a bit unsure about where the smarts for you and you just want to listen that's absolutely fine as well um on your first time you don't have to check in if you don't want to you can just listen um, so 
So we'll, we'll check in, and then after we've checked in, we'll decide what we want to talk about. Um, something might come up, so like a couple of people might have said, well, I've, you know, I've, I've had a trouble, trouble with lapses this week, I've had a lapse. Um, so we might then go in and we'll look at the tools, and the tools are techniques and sort of tips and <coughs> ways of ways of exercises that help us in our recovery um, and so I might demonstrate a couple of the tools and we'll all talk about it and you know say what works for us or what doesn't work for us and we'll all get ideas off each other um, once we've done that we'll do a check out how did you find the meeting and that's it really that's all there is to a smart meeting um, they last an hour and they're very friendly um, um, if you've got any questions or any concerns about joining a smart meeting, uh, when you get that link, just email, email me back and I'm quite happy to either pick up the phone and have a chat with you about it or we can set up a, a, a private kind of Zoom meeting um, and you can practice coming in and chatting to someone on Zoom. Um, I hope that's helpful. Cheers.